In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to get started with XLOOKUP. This is a tutorial for beginners, but I think this is a really powerful tool that once you understand how to use, will help majority of people out there become a lot more confident with Excel. I'm also gonna use two data sets that I'll make available for free that you can download in the link below if you wanna just follow along with me and just practice as we go along this tutorial. The first thing I'm gonna do is open up two Excel workbooks and show you the two tables that we are working with today. I'm gonna go ahead and snap these side by side and just to walk you through these tables quickly. On the left-hand side here, we have a list of sales reps and the devices that they've sold. And on the right-hand side, we have a list of our customers, the laptops that they've purchased, but we don't know who their sales rep was. Each sales rep in this list looks after a particular brand. And what we're gonna do is use XLOOKUP to marry these across so our sales rep can follow up with their customers and see how they're going with their new laptop. The first thing I'll do is maximize our customer list here and select on the first cell next to our sales column and simply type in equals X lookup. What you'll see here is that the function button appears and if we select on this, it actually shows us the X lookup and the controls after it. But because this tutorial is for, for beginners, I'm gonna take you through a different route of getting to X lookup. At the top of Excel, we're gonna select on the search button and type in X lookup here. It's gonna say the best action underneath that is X lookup. We're gonna select on this guy instead. The reason for this is to help you get familiar with the function arguments of Excel. As this dialog box pops up, it makes it a lot easier to understand for the first time. The first thing it asks for is your lookup value. So this is something I'd refer to as the common denominator between your different tables. I'm gonna simply select on HP, which is the first laptop in the laptop brand section. Underneath that, it's gonna ask us for our lookup array. And this is the range or the table that we wanna search. So we're gonna jump over to our sales rep column and we're gonna highlight all the laptop brands here. So it's gonna say anything in this column, if it has the value, we're gonna return something. And what is that something we're gonna return? Well, we wanna return the sales rep. So we're gonna select on the button of return array. We're gonna jump back to our second sheet again and under the sales rep column, we are gonna highlight all of these here. So what it's saying is we are gonna look up a value, which is our laptop brand. We are gonna say have a lookup array, which is all the brands in a different table. And then we're gonna return a value that equals that, which is our sales rep. Now I'm gonna jump back to our first column here and simply select on okay. What you'll see here is that it automatically populates all of these sales reps uh, against those laptop brands and we can now see which sales rep owns which customer. I'm gonna add a name to this column. I'm gonna call it sales rep. And it is that easy to get started with X lookup. One tip I will give you is if you highlight this entire column, in the bottom right-hand corner, you get your quick analysis option. If you select on this, you can quickly turn this table into a range of different charts and tables and things like that. So if you select on chart, for example, you can go ahead and create a, cust uh, a clustered column chart of the sales of quantity by sales rep, or by the laptop brand, or by the count of the customer. If we select on quantity by sales rep, we can actually quickly see which sales rep has sold the most in a nice, neat table. There you have it, it is that easy to get started with X lookup. As I said, you can access both of these free workbooks in the comment section down below, so you can follow along with this tutorial. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're super to raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. In the wild, where the trees sway, there's a fox bread and game.